friends, welcome back to our channel Primal Edu World, your quick and easy online guide to computer tips and tricks and learning coding. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are the first ones to receive notifications of all our upcoming videos. Friends, in today's video, we are going to learn how to use pivot table in Excel. What is a pivot table? A pivot table helps to summarize, sort, recognize, group, count, total or average data stored in a table. It allows to transform columns into rows and rows into columns. It allows grouping by any field. It allows using advanced calculations on them and it arranges and rearranges statistics in order to draw attention to useful information. Why use a pivot table? Because it is easy to use and flexible, it gives the ability to sort and resort information in a summarized format. It provides data analysis that can be identified and updated easily. It is efficient in creation of reports which are visually very appealing. So friends, let's jump into it. Here, we have a product sales table showing sales of three months. Here we have different columns, products, models, colors, months sale and cost. Now we'll create a pivot table for this data. So for that we go to insert. Here we have two tabs. One is the pivot table and another is recommended pivot tables. When you click on recommended pivot tables, you can see it shows different templates for pivot tables which are ready made and easy to use. But since we want to learn how to create a pivot table, we will not use this. We will go to pivot table. Here a create pivot table dialog box has opened. When you select a table or range, it automatically selects the range of our table. Now down here we have choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. We can either place it in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. If you choose existing worksheet, the pivot table report will be placed anywhere on the same worksheet. We will choose new worksheet and say OK. Now here a new worksheet has opened. This is our pivot table report. And on the right you can see a pivot table fields area has opened which shows all our fields that were there in our Excel. Down below we have a area where you can drag and drop your fields as you want to, of them to appear in your pivot table report. So suppose I want to see what products I have sold, we have sold during the last three months. So I drag the product field and drop it under rows. Here you can see the products uh, row has appeared. I can also make it column wise. We'll place it under rows. Now I want to see what models were sold. So here we have our products and we have the models. Since there's only one model of each product right now in our table, it will show one. If you have more than one, it will show all the models that you have. If you want to see what colors were sold, you place colors under columns and these are the colors that were sold. Black, gold, grey, red and silver. If you want to know how many of each color were sold, again you drag and drop color under values. So this will give you a count of how many laptops of each color were sold during those three months. For example, Apple MacBook Pro 720. One of black, one in grey and one in silver. So total three were sold and so on. So this is how you can get a count of uh, the number of uh, laptops of each color that were sold. To remove any field, you simply drag it out of the field area. Now we have the product and the models here. If I want to see how much the sales was for each of these, this will show you the sales. So you place sales and the values. 
you can place cost in the value so it will give you the cost now i want to calculate the profit margin on each of these products so how do we do that place your cursor anywhere on the pivot table report go to analyze and then you have fields items and sets click on this and click on calculated field here you enter the field name which will be profit margin and then you have to give the formula so formula will be is equal to profit margin will be sales minus cost so you click on sales and insert field then add a minus sign and click on cost and insert field and say ok now you can see sum of profit margin uh, has been added in our pivot table report also this field is reflecting in our pivot table fields area so whatever changes you make in your pivot table report will automatically get reflected in the pivot table fields so this is how you can calculate profit margin for now i'll remove profit margin and cost now i'll also remove models i want to know which was the most profitable product during those three months so here you click on any of the values and go to show values as and i'll click on percentage of column total this will give me the percentage of each product that was sold uh, sales percentage of each product that was sold during january february and march so if i want to know which was the highest selling product i can sort it from largest to smallest and here apple was 21.63 percent sale so apple was the most profitable and lg was the least profitable you can do many more different uh, calculations here like you can calculate the average sales and so on so this is done by using show values as next um, i have product and i will keep sales here uh, you have a tab called insert slicer slicer makes it faster and easier to filter tables or pivot tables so can you use it here you can you also use it in your charts pivot charts what does this do let's click on insert slicer this is an insert slicer dialog box or tab i will choose color click on color and say okay now this is a slicer tab if i say click on gold this was the sales of gold colored products or models that were sold during the last three during the months of january february and march okay if i want to add more than one slicer you'll have to delete this go back to insert slicer choose color and month and say okay now this is showing us two slicers so here if i choose january and you can see gold is disabled so this means means no gold uh, models were sold during january so if i click on gray dell worth 1900 and lg worth 1000 were sold during those three months if i click on february and say black toshiba was sold for 1950 and so on so this is how you can use slicers it gives us the data very easily and it is very visually appealing also so to remove it simply click on it and press delete so this is the use of insert slicers next uh, let's go back to our excel suppose i want to make some changes in my excel say i want to change some value for example apple macbook pro 720 which is 2100 i will change it to 2500 so now um let's solve this 
the total sales of apple products is 6850 after i have changed the value of one of it let's check if this is reflecting in our report pivot table report here we'll just select apple it is only showing 6450 so the change that we made in our excel is not reflecting in our pivot table so how do we sort this for this what we do is you go to analyze and you click on refresh and refresh all now you see the amount has changed so if you're making any changes in your excel you need to come back to your pivot table and refresh it under analyze also we want to create a new column say order and we place uh, figures 10 15 20 now simply drag and copy so this is a new column of orders that we have created let's see if this is reflecting in our pivot table report as you can see it does not show uh, this field in our pivot table fields so what you have to do here is you go to analyze and click on change data source because a data source is the earlier uh, range that was selected so you have to click on change data source and here now again choose the entire table range including order and say ok so now you can see order is added to our pivot table fields so whenever you add or remove a column or row from your excel you need to change the data source otherwise it will not get reflected in your pivot table report now lastly uh, what we have is how to create the pivot table or pivot charts so here we have product and we have sales we also have model and the rows uh, you go to insert and you have pivot chart click on this you can see templates for charts column line pie etc we will choose column and say ok so this is our pivot chart which shows the product and the models uh, on the x-axis and our sales figures on the y you can also include cost so this is sales will be reflected in blue for each product and the cost figures in orange if i want to see month wise so it becomes here you can see for each product it is giving me sales and cost in different colors so sales for jan is in blue sales for february is in orange for march is in gray cost in different colors right now i can remove any field that i don't want from here suppose i remove cost it will only show me the sales figures for each of my products here you have a button which is defer layout button what happens when you click this so i click this and suppose I add cost here you can see it is not getting reflected in the chart this is because I have to click on the update button on the right side when I click on the update button the chart gets updated my cost values are reflecting in the chart but to remove you do not need to update it so that is the use of the deferred layout update when you add something and it is ticked here you need to press on the update button hope you found this video useful if you like this video please do like and share 
drop in a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for many more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.